The former Prime Minister, Sir John Major, has been giving evidence to the infected blood inquiry, which is looking into what's been described as the biggest treatment disaster in NHS history. He described the victims, 30,000 of them, as having incredibly bad luck, saying the impact on them was a horror. They were infected with hepatitis C and HIV from contaminated blood products from America through blood transfusions in the 1970s and 80s. Almost 3,000 have already died. Rachel Younger is at the inquiry and just sent this. Listening to every word of Sir John Major's evidence, there's been a number of those people who were infected with these blood products back in the 70s and 80s. People who've lived with either hepatitis or HIV since the 70s and 80s, who've been turned down for jobs, mortgages and health insurance over those years and who've long argued that what happened to them had been a disaster waiting to happen, that the government should have thought far more carefully about the fact that the blood that was being given to them was blood that was being paid for, that was coming from high-risk groups, prisoners or sex workers in America but also Asia and Africa. So there were audible gasps as Sir John Major gave his recollections of discussions within the government about how much compensation they should have been given. This is what he had to say. There's no amount of compensation you can give that could actually compensate for what had happened to them. What had happened to them was incredibly bad luck. Uh, awful. And, and, and it, it was not something that anybody was unsympathetic to. So sympathy from Sir John, yes, but what is really needed is compensation. And there is gathering momentum for an interim payment to be made before this inquiry draws to a close next year for those affected, because so many of them are growing older, they're growing sicker, and as every month passes, more are dying. They simply don't have time to wait. Rachel Younger reporting there.